Several years ago, I was having one of those bad days, and it was escalating, and I was focusing in on all of these things that I thought were just absolutely horrible in my life, when in reality, it was just one little thing that started the chain reaction. And my wife came to me and said something that was profound, something that made the difference. She said, Ben, today's just one day. In the same way a, a person would want to build good things into their life, they can also build bad things. For example, let's say you wake up one morning and just something difficult happens, and, and that represents one brick. And that one brick right there, in and of itself, really can't do a whole lot of damage. Maybe this starts out and, and, and you're just having a bad hair day. And then all of a sudden your brain says, oh wait, well you're also out of shape. And uh, yeah, by the way, y y you're late for work. But as you begin to build all of this negativity in your life, now this becomes an issue. An issue that doesn't need to be there. I witnessed this the other day and my oldest daughter, she came home and she was having just a horrible, horrible day. And she comes down into my office and she says, Dad, my life stinks. My life is horrible. And, and why can't I ever have just one good day? I tried to teach her something that we all need to remember and we all need to learn. Tip number 24, don't give one bad day more attention than it deserves. It's just one day. We need to remember the words from Little Orphan Annie. The sun will come out tomorrow. Sun. Tomorrow. Hi, my name's Owen. Can I come live with you? Like my daughter, when we're feeling down and out, we have a tendency to, to feel that our whole life, everything stinks. And the worst possible thing we can do when we feel that way is to make critical decisions. And so before you destroy all of the hard work that you've done, the building success brick by brick and replace it with negativity, keep these things in mind. Ask yourself this question. Why am I feeling this way? And even though that seems like an obvious question to ask yourself when you're feeling blue, a lot of people don't. Don't forget about the importance of rest. Ask yourself this question. How much sleep have I gotten? Tired people are cranky people. When's the last time you ate something? Hunger is a distraction. And believe it or not, it, it affects people in a negative way. When I'm feeling crummy, sometimes it's because I just haven't exercised. You know, when you go and get in the gym, you release all of these positive endorphins in your life. And sometimes that's all you need to snap out of a down day. One possibility is you could be sick. I guarantee you, if you're feeling sick, you're not feeling happy. Chances are you're just feeling a little bit off today. And there's nothing wrong with one bad day. Everybody has them. Even I have them. If you're feeling down and out, hey, that's all right. Tomorrow's a new day. And chances are, there'll be sun. Hey, this is Ben Glenn, and as always, love, peace, and hair grease, encouraging you to do one thing. Keep on building. God bless.